Tonight, a Larry Barker investigation involving high-ranking public officials who surreptitiously misspent tax dollars. It's a tale of deception, dishonesty, and more than half a million dollars. Here's Larry's investigation. It should have never happened. But now the taxpayers are on the hook for it. The city requested this money. How was the money going to be spent? You can't just say, hey, give us money. Did the city of Albuquerque provide a detailed description of what the proceeds will fund? Not in my opinion. It's a half million dollar scheme arranged by high ranking public officials. When you look at the facts of what happened, how much does this bother you? 100%. State Senator George Munoz chairs the Senate Finance Committee. Who's to blame here? In my opinion, there's a lot of people to blame. Our focus is on the Duke City Gladiators, an indoor football team based in Rio Rancho. Sometime up the middle, that's where Jason Serta meets him. Indoor football is a vastly different game from the NFL. For example, here, teams compete in arenas on playing fields that look more like hockey rinks. So take a close look at the gladiators. No, not the players, the field. There's something amiss. You see, this is not a sports story. It's a tale of deception and misuse of tax dollars. It began last year. The gladiators played at the event center in Rio Rancho after moving from Tingley Coliseum in Albuquerque. Team owner Gina Thomas decided Rio Rancho's football field just would not do. She wanted her team to play on a glitzy new gridiron. Now, regulation size indoor football fields cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. So Thomas lobbied public officials for help, and state lawmakers answered the call. The Gladiators opened their 2022 season with a brand new artificial turf playing field, courtesy of taxpayers. Welcome to the Rio Rancho Event Center and the brand new one Albuquerque field here at the event center. But hold on, the Duke City Gladiators is a private enterprise. In New Mexico, the use of public money to aid a private business is strictly prohibited. So now we've taken public money and bought a field for a private company, which clearly violates statute. It's a big problem. How did they pull it off? The first hint of something underhanded surfaced last year when the city of Albuquerque requested money from the legislature for a mystery project. Albuquerque said they wanted state money to buy artificial turf playing fields for recreational facilities around the city, including bikeways and tennis courts. A trio of state lawmakers responded with a $160,000 appropriation for Albuquerque's project. News 13's investigation finds the seemingly routine appropriation was a deception. Instead of using public funds to buy artificial turf for recreational facilities in Albuquerque, the funds were diverted to buy the gladiators a football field here in Rio Rancho. In January, Albuquerque's Parks Department plopped down a quarter of a million dollars in taxpayer money and bought the gladiators in Rio Rancho a custom-made, state-of-the-art playing field. Dave Simon is Albuquerque's Parks Director. It's a good benefit to support the gladiator program, which benefits uh, families and children uh, in the entire metro area. Gladiator superfan and Albuquerque Mayor Tim Keller was there for the rollout. First of all, beautiful new field, right? Oh man, it's so good to see and I gotta tell you, so this field, Gladiators got it for as long as they want it every year. Before public money can be paid out, legislative appropriations are reviewed for compliance with state law by New Mexico's Department of Finance. Debbie Romero is Cabinet Secretary. It's important to ensure that the public money is being safeguarded. We cannot allow them to use money for something that's not actually identified in the appropriation language. Because Albuquerque had already bought the field, 
they submitted an invoice to the state for reimbursement. The request was denied. It was determined Albuquerque's expenditure violated state law. The city was authorized to buy turf for public use in public places, not for the benefit of a private for-profit company. Secondly, the field should have been installed in Albuquerque, not Rio Rancho. And thirdly, the private use of city property without compensation is a violation of the state constitution. Your understanding was that this field would be for the Duke City Gladiators? Correct. State Rep. Mo Maestas co-sponsored the $160,000 capital outlay appropriation. The turf is specifically made for a gladiator's game, but theoretically anybody could utilize it if they rent the arena. Even though documents show Albuquerque petitioned the legislature to fund the gladiator field, no one at City Hall seems to know just who made the request. Who at the city requested that appropriation? Well, I, I had you know, no knowledge of the request of the appropriation. And there's more. Buried in a 2022 legislative spending bill is $325,000 for improvements to an indoor arena in Albuquerque. However, Albuquerque doesn't own an indoor arena. Someone at the city's parks department requested the money. Do you know how the $325,000 will be spent? I think we will wait to see if the city's going to get access to that money, and then we will try to determine as best we can what that intent would be. Do you not understand that the city of Albuquerque requested this money? But you don't know what the project is. It seems pretty clear it's to provide funds to improve an indoor arena. But that said he doesn't own an indoor arena, Dave. So what? Legislative sponsors say that $325,000 is for a jumbotron and ribbon scoreboard for the gladiators. Why is this appropriation a problem for you? Um, I think there's a disconnect between what they intend to use the money for and what the appropriation language includes. The legality of the $325,000 appropriation is under review. So why would public officials improperly commit hundreds of thousands of dollars to benefit a private business? Well, we don't know. Following last year's legislative session, team owner Gina Thomas made campaign contributions to Mayor Keller and co-sponsor State Rep Mo Maestas. Following this year's $325,000 appropriation, the gladiators made another campaign contribution to Mo Maestas. You received a sizable campaign contribution from the team owner. That's true. Mo, I got to ask you, how does it look? You sponsored capital outlay appropriation for the benefit of the Duke City gladiators, and then they give you a nice big fat campaign check. I understand the point you're making. It doesn't look good at all. Five state lawmakers were responsible for funding almost a half million dollars to benefit the gladiators team owner Gina Thomas did not respond to questions. We were elected to watch your money and make sure it's spent correctly and it didn't happen here. Larry Barker, KRQE News 13. A spokesperson with the Attorney General's office said, and this is a quote, it is a violation for any public body to make a donation in aid of any private person or corporation. We will contact, they say, the appropriate regulatory agency to ensure compliance.